Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. I don't know if y'all can hear the buzzing in the background, but what that is, is the honeybees robbing out the supers that we extracted last night. Today is Monday, August 21st, 2017. Let me turn the camera around and show y'all what's going on. Good morning. Today we're filming in the name of science. Today we have an eclipse and here in the south end of Mississippi we are well outside the path of totality so we won't experience a total eclipse here it'll just be a partial but myself along with probably hundreds of other beekeepers across the US are setting up cameras and observing hives in the name of science to see what the bees do during an eclipse here where we're gonna experience a partial eclipse I don't think my expectation is that they'll do about the same thing they do on a cloudy day, which is keep working and maybe be a little more irritable. But we're going to set up a time lapse. I'll have a time lapse camera running all day leading up to and several hours after the eclipse, and we'll see how they act. And it's a pretty wide angle camera, so I'm just going to set it up on a couple of busier hives. And then during the eclipse, I'll be out here filming probably on this ca camera as well. well they're already acting up and uh, so I'll, I'll be back with you I gotta go this eclipse already got me acting funny with shrimp Monica and bacon here we got the trailer loaded down with supers that we extracted yesterday and we've got them set out to let the bees finish robbing everything out of them before we put them up to store them for the winter As you can see, we got the boxes stacked on top of some hive tops. And what happens is the bees will go through and clean out all the extra honey that was left over. And they'll dig through the wax to get to the bottom of the cells. And all that wax will fall through the slits or through the, in between the frames, all the way down to the bottom, to the bottom board. And you can see the wax starting to pile up at the bottom. And then we'll take that wax and put it in with our melter wax. And uh, then we can put the boxes up to store them for the winter. So we don't have any wax moth problems. So anyway, a bunch of bees here getting fed on Eclipse Monday. Y'all have a good day.